Yo, yo. Back with another 1980s uh, scrapbook movie scrapbook. This is comedies, I think, because it's got Ferris Bueller on the front. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Danny DeVito and Joe Piscopo and Wise Guys, which a lot of people, uh, which people don't talk about, I'll say. You know, I, I thought this movie was really good, really funny. Uh, I got to buy it on DVD, I think. But uh, that's a cool one. Not mentioned very often. Really cool movie. I liked it. <laughs> All right. I even could quote it, but I'm not going to. And there's the article for Wise Guys, the review. Boom. Here's a little picture. Here's... I guess De Palma directed it. Wow. It's a good movie, man. <clears throat> There's another rest of the review. DeVito. And we got Richard Pryor and Jojo Dancer, which did not make any money for him, I don't think. But it was okay, I think. Yeah, I think I saw it. More of a drama about his life, I guess. The role of his life. Was it directed by Richard Pryor? Um, produced and directed by Richard Pryor. Yeah. And then they didn't like it. No, no JoJo. I worked uh, in the movies when this was out, I remember. Didn't do well. No one showed up. Here's uh, Running Scared, which is a cool movie. I like these two guys together, Billy Crystal and Gregory Hines. I thought they did a good job. I'm a fan of Billy Crystal anyway. That was cool. I think the bad guy was Mikhail Baryshnikov. <laughs> I'm not sure. And then we got the review. I guess they liked it. There you go. Little Lethal Weapon. I don't know if this is before or after Lethal. I think it was before Lethal Weapon. This might have... I should credit this one as creating the buddy cop movie. All right. There's Rodney Dangerfield in Back to School. I like this movie. It's funny. Packed the house. I was working at, working at the movies at the time. Man, it was sold out every night for like two or three months. Uh, I liked it. Robert Downey, I like in it. He's funny. Um, cool movie. And there's the review. And there's him in the hot tub. Could quote it, but I won't. Shakespeare for everybody. Okay, that's it. All right, so, and there's Ferris Bueller, classic. Saw this, I think I saw this twice on opening day, if you can believe it. I was working at the theater. I don't think I was working that day, and I just went in twice. Awesome John Hughes movie. Classic. There's the review. And there's a Time Magazine review. Guess everyone liked it. Here's another uh, ad for it. And there's an article on Matthew Broderick faces trial for reckless driving in North Ireland when he killed somebody. I guess I saved that. Jeez. And there he is. I think he actually killed someone. I think Jennifer Grey was his girlfriend and they were in North Ireland and he Got in an accident and killed somebody. <clears throat> Here's Ruthless People, which I liked a lot with DeVito. DeVito had a lot of good movies back then. That's a really cool poster. And Bette Midler. She was funny. And there's the review. Then we got, looks like, About Last Night. Yep. Pretty cool movie. Uh, I don't know what to say about it. Yeah, David Mamet. I was, that's what I was trying to think if David Mamet wrote it. I think he did. Um, I liked it. Haven't watched it forever. And there's the review. I guess that they kind of liked it. <clears throat> Next, uh, Time Magazine article. And then we got an attorney. Club Paradise. <laughs> I don't think that was that good. Um, 
Robin Williams, Rick Moranis, I don't remember who else. I'm going to read the credits. Peter O'Toole, Twiggy, Jeez. Eugene Levy. <laughs> so Club Paradise. I think that's the last page. There we go. It's just the uh, review for Club Paradise. There you go. Hey, thanks for watching. Take it easy.